welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. Uh, yesterday at the Gabba, it was the Lions up against the Fremantle Dockers, and this was terrific stuff for the Lions. A long time between drinks, but boy, oh boy, a tsunami of goals yeah. coming their way. 18, no less. A 57-point win in the end over the Fremantle Dockers. Billy, how'd you see it? No, it was fantastic. First time they've kicked 100 points this year, Brisbane. They did it in the third quarter. Louis Taylor with four. Cutler, old Chopsy, he was very good. He kicked three. Zorko, two. Damian Barrett. Jake Barrett picked two. He's a good player too. You know? They've got some very good players up there. Very, very good midfield. And it's ran by this man here. Dane the Magician Zorko. 30 touches yesterday. 10 clearances. And likes to give a bit of a chat out to the opposition too. Hey Zorks, welcome. You were fantastic yesterday. Well done. No, thank you very much guys. Thanks for having me. Mate, it was a great, uh, great win and you had to get off to a good start. In uh, the last few rounds... You've got a lot of ball inside 50, but you haven't converted. But yesterday, six goals straight in the first quarter, you're away. Yeah, we, we knew we had to really um, get off to a really good start, and I think we did that. Um, obviously, travelling across from coast to coast that Fremantle had to do um, in a six-day break, we knew it was really important to get on top early, and um, we were able to do that, and we were able to put scoreboard pressure on, which is really important. Uh, Fortunately enough for us, we were able to play our four-quarter game for the first time this year, and um, that was probably the most pleasing thing to come out of the game. Yeah, four quarters. The third quarter, you're unbelievable. Kicked four goals, eight they did, the Lions. The Dockers only kicked one goal. It was a great third quarter. But I'll tell you what I like yesterday, the run, and you took the game on, Zorks, and kicked some really good coast-to-coast -coast goals. Yeah, we focused a lot on our offence um, during the break. It's obviously let us down a little bit with our turnovers. Um, we've given the ball back to the opposition far too easy. So it's something that we really focused on uh, in the break. Um, and I thought we showed some really good signs with our offensive ball movement, um, especially in that third quarter. It just seemed to click for us. Um, we, we really should have kicked a lot more goals. Yeah. We missed a lot of easy opportunities. But um, at least the scoreboard pressure was there. And... Um, for them only to score uh, a goal in the third quarter was really pleasing. You absolutely smashed them through the midfield, Dane. Uh, plus 18 clearances, 65 to 43 inside 50s. You really did a number on, which is uh, quite a good midfield of the Fremantle Dockers. Yeah, obviously Fremantle are a really good stoppage side, so we, we understood the importance of what it was going to take to match them um, in, the, in that area. Uh, with the likes of Monday, Fife, uh, Lockie Neal in there. Um, it's a very good midfield. So we understood the importance and the pressure that we had to apply uh, to their really good players to, to win that midfield battle. And I thought we were able to do that from pretty much the first bounce. And uh, Stefan Martin was able to get his hands on the ball, uh, as was Archie Smith, and, and really give us that first use, use um, which was really good for us. I mean, and with the Ruckman putting it down our throats like that, it, it makes our jobs a little bit easier. <laughs> Archie Smith, he's one to watch. He was fantastic to stay in the ruck. Hey, this man here we're talking to, boys, he doesn't get the credit. He's up there in Brisbane. We don't know enough about him. Well, some do, but he is a fantastic player. And I reckon if he played for a Melbourne club, he'd be a superstar. Bit hard for you to answer that, Zorks, but... Um, a bit of a backhanded your... compliment. <laughs> what do you mean, backhanded player? Well, he is a superstar. Doesn't matter where he plays. He is. Well, Kane He's, didn't um, know who he was no, before. He said, <laughs> he said Zane Zork. I said, no, it's Dane. But you are. You're a bloody good player, Zorks. This will be good. Ah, uh, thanks. Oh. Well, I appreciate the comments. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I mean... I don't know what you want me to say. Uh, 14 disposals in the first quarter, set it up for the Lions. Yeah. He was the star yesterday. We'll say it for you. But Tom Rockliffe back into the side, the former skipper. He was important yesterday as well. How have you seen his, well, the way he's carried himself around yes. the footy club in his form this year? Yeah, he's been superb. His leadership uh, probably questioned a lot through the last two years with his captaincy. But I'll tell you what, this off-season, the pre-season we just had and the way he's carried himself around the club, um, it's just a true credit to himself. He's worked extremely hard. There's been a lot of knocks on him. Um, but being a very close mate of his, the way he's gone about it has just been first class. And he's a true professional, Tom. And I think that we've really seen that in the way he's played this year. He's, he's the number one clearance player in the AFL. And he's really led from the front with us and, and helped develop our younger players um, and fast-track them um, a lot quicker than probably what we thought. So the way Tom's handled himself and, and the way he's been playing, it's a true credit and great leadership. Hey, Zorks, a big win, obviously capped off a great week where Josh Shackey re-signed. Obviously, there's no more money in the salary cap, but it was very, very exciting to get the young fella on board. Yeah, it certainly was. Um, I, had a, I had an inkling that Josh really wanted to stay, and um, I think he, he showed that. He, he loves it up here in Brisbane. Um, I know there's been a lot written about him in the press, but he really enjoys being in Brisbane, and you know what? It's, it's great for the club to have a young player like him re-sign, and, and the likes of Eric Hipwood, 
um, Jonathan Freeman, Michael Close. There's a lot of strong key forwards there, and if they can build some really strong relationships, it's going to make our, our forward line a lot stronger in years to come. So it's great for Josh to re-sign and great for the club. And great to have you on board. Uh, here are the votes. Uh, the magician's on top here. He was outstanding. Zorko, eight. Beams, who was fantastic also. He had 36 touches, nine clearances, eight tackles. Harris Andrews, another one that we do like, Lord is coming along nicely. And Lewis Taylor. Little Louis kicked four goals. Hey, what, Oscar did a really good match review last night, didn't he? <laughs> well, uh, what do you mate? <laughs> <laughs> but well done, that was fantastic. Good on you, Zorks. Hang on, Matthew's got one more. Oh. Hey, hey, no. Zorks, last Thank one. Thank you very much. Last one before we let you go. You, you lost nine, in, nine games in a row, which is never easy as a player when you're back up week after week losing games. I just want to, you to talk through Chris Fagan and the changes he's made to your football club. Obviously, it was a big off-season with uh, him replacing Justin Lepich. Yeah, certainly. And I I guess you could probably think that the, the morale around the club, um, losing your last nine games, probably be very low on blokes hanging their heads and um, really searching for answers. But the way Chris has really um, kept the group up and about and understanding the position that we're in as a football club, um, the growth mindset that is employed in all of us to just try and get better, it'll eventually turn. And I think we kind of saw a little bit of that um, reward for effort last night. Um, he's really instilled that in the group that, you know, it's going to be difficult but we'll take these little wins along the way because we know we're on the right path um, and that hopefully success will be in the near future. And I think the boys have stayed up and about. They understand where we are as a club um, and we're work working towards a bigger picture and a bigger goal. So um, to all the fans, I know it's been very difficult last 10 rounds or we won the first, but the last nine have been extremely difficult. But um, stick by us because there are things, we're doing the right things around the club. Boys are working extremely hard. Um, and I think we saw a little snippet of what we can actually produce uh, last night. Well said. Terrific. All right, Dane, thanks very much for your time and continued success. You're up against Port Adelaide over there next week, so you never know what's going to happen. So thanks for your time this morning.